my dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And as always, this is Aprilia here. And today we're going to be taking a look at this new Minimax AI agent and what it essentially can do for us as of right now. And anybody can register this website and get some free credits for themselves and try the platform out essentially. But for starters, let's actually look into what other people have created out uh, with the Minimax AI agent. So it's very useful for many different things like creating uh, power slides, presentations, collecting data from websites or from uh, stock markets. It can do multitude of different things. Some of these things are going to be a lot more niche and tailored towards a very specific audience who might be, you know, maybe these types of slides are kind of for people who are doing business presentations at work or maybe, you know, are they're doing some type of presentation at school. So these can be very, very useful for stuff like that. And as I said, there are many things that people have created. There's also like fan websites and some type of like, you know, maybe somebody does a fan page for a certain type of anime or I don't know, an artist. It can do multitude of different things and collect data on many different languages and obviously publish um, the actual platforms on different languages as well. So this is, you know, Neon Genesis Evangelion uh, website. And then there was also a um, platform about blog posts. I mean, these interfaces and layouts are not too shabby in my opinion. Then there was uh, another presentation it can basically do. There was this one I really much liked. This was basically collecting Tesla stock analysis. And it was able to create all of these very, very cool charts over here. And this is probably the most coolest thing that I've seen so far. I have not tested this specifically myself. So how accurate is it for collecting, let's say, for a lot more obscure style of a stock or let's say for a cryptocurrency, can it can actually collect all of that data from all of these websites or does it really need a very reliable, very, very good API to basically get access to all of that data? But I mean, this looks very, very good. So if you're doing a presentation for a stock or just want to try and collect data for maybe for investment yourself, this can be um, pretty, pretty good. And as I said, there are a multitude of different things. Somebody has done a Pokedex, which is uh, crazy to me. And this is pretty accurate. I mean, it's kind of limited. It only goes to 50 first Pokemons. And there's obviously probably thousands right now. And so it can do a multitude of different things. And I also did a couple of my own prompts. And I was able to do like three, four uh, with the free plan. And basically what I ask it to do is, hey, look at my website and do a SEO analysis on it. And it basically went through my website and did a lot of scanning, like telling me like, okay, there's a lot of missing meta descriptions, social media tags, um, poor header hierarchy, no structured data, poor load speed, um, it, all types of things. And I'm just like really impressed. It doesn't give me like super detailed. Um, page by page analysis over here, but it gives me a very good, you know, rundown of my website. And now I can actually improve on certain things yeah, over here uh, regarding like, what could I do on this website to make it better on the search engine results? But obviously Google is changing so many things right now. I don't even know if websites are going to be a thing in 10 years, but we will see. But this is just a one example of things. And you can see actually all the things that an agent was able to do, what it did in terms of scanning. And you don't need to even do like a very long prompt here. You just give the website and hey, do SEO analysis. And then I ask it to do uh, basically um, weather website, but this was not able to do a full thing as I ran out of credits. And well, this is probably a good segue to talk about the current pricing. So everybody gets thousand credits. And that, I guess, is around four different tasks. Obviously, the task can be very different in terms of their cost, g given what you're asking it to do. So the basic plan is starting at $19 a month. And then we have the pro, pro model, which is $70. And that is basically 15 tasks, peak hour priority, early access to beta features. Um, and then there's obviously add-on packages, which you can buy as well. Now, I think it's kind of expensive but in a way like ai engines might be more valuable to businesses than something like mid-journey subscription for example so it's all relative for me personally um which i will go into a second what exactly i'm looking for in an ai agent is not a lot of the things that minimax can currently offer so for example i was like hey 
I want you to share my video into Facebook and it can't do that right now because it doesn't have access to the APIs. It doesn't have access to any of the social media platform APIs that Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, because what I would really need an AI agent for is for promotion, promoting my videos, promoting my articles. That's what I really desire. And yes, those exist. Um, but you have to go around a bit more loops and hoops to actually get around with a Twitter API and get them actually promoting, get them posting. And I don't know like how active that's going to be and how costly is it going to be like to run an actual Twitter account. And those exist, by the way. There are automated Twitter bots existing in Twitter, and they are very cool in my opinion. And it can also do other things like, um, this is another case where the <laughs> the credits ran out, but I was like saying like, hey, create a website that talks about general AI content, but keep referring to the articles in my website. And that's basically what it's also able to do here in terms of things. So um, it can create you mock-up websites. I don't know if those are gonna be hosted on the Minimax servers, like the URLs, like are those permanent? I'm not like completely sure. How does that exactly work when it comes to this Pokedex? Like, is this Pokedex like, on IPFS or is it just like hosted on Minimax and how long it's actually hosted on Minimax. But I guess you could basically build up backlinks um, with these types of websites. And here, for example, it's like referring into the Pokey APIs, referring to another website. So it's basically able to, you know, create backlinks, which is kind of useful, I guess. But um, all things considered, I haven't really honestly looked into pricing of other AI agents. So I'm not the guy who is basically able to tell you like, oh, this is affordable or this is cheap. So I'm not the very, very most educated person uh, to answer this right now. I know that there are some AI agents that are actually free to use in crypto space. So it's a bit on the mix. Would I actually go buying stuff with this type of things? But I mean, in terms of like creating a very simple games or... Um, types of, um, uh, you know, like mock-up websites for something like that, it can be pretty impressive in my opinion. So um, in case you're looking for a look at this, it, it was basically able to do like, um, this is not a kind of like a Flappy Bird, you know, mix. But, you know, that's just a one possibility. So you have to be really creative with this one. And there's obviously some value to be derived from uh, things like this. But thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more reviews on the channel. In case you want to try out Minimax AI Agent, you can find the link down below in the description. Thanks for watching. I will be seeing you in the next video.